Hey guys, my name is Alexandra Russo, also known as Nerd24, and here today I'm doing a makeup tutorial of Harley Quinn's face. Um, I'm actually kind of going to do like the classic Harley or a Arkham Knight Harley. Um, so, first thing before I start, before I even put my hair up in a ponytail, I have a new makeup thing. Um, this carries all my special effects makeup and some of my regular makeup, like eye, eye mascara or eyeliner and blush and so on. So, I'm going to put my hair in a ponytail. I'm actually going to put it in a double ponytail. Because sometimes it likes to escape the first ponytail, and it doesn't like me. So I'm going to put it in a bun for the second one. And I'm going to open this up. It's really big, but it's totally worth it. It's around $30 at Walmart. Um, it is a Kaluvio's um, makeup box thing. It is huge, but it is so worth it. Like, look at this. Look at this. So, I'm gonna get right to it because I have to go to a movie at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. 7 p.m. Um, so I'm gonna get my white cream face, um, along with my, uh, cream blend mask cover palette, and I'm going to use the white 400-W, um, but mostly it's going to be this. People say you can mix it with your uh, concealer, or whatever you're supposed to call it, but whatever. So what I'm first going to do is, um, actually, I'm going to go like kind of basis off my little vinyl. Um, but it's going to be basically just the classic Carly, um, mostly. So, all I can remember from the classic Carly is pretty much that same thing, but with no blush and no eyeshadow. So, let's go. So, I'm first going to use my white cream makeup from a kit. I can't remember. I got it from, like, 7th grade, and that was, like, two years ago. So I'm going to do this and put it on my finger and just blend it out. So I actually might be going to Comic-Con, uh, Boston Comic-Con of course. Um, when you do this, be careful near your eyes. And I'm going to go, if I go, I'm going to go as classic Harley, but not with her jester hat. I'm actually going to do it with her jester costume and do her hair, like, outwards. Don't do this near your eyes. Leave your eyes out. And you're going to see why. So we're going to make this as uh, solid and even as we possibly can. Um, I should have put glue on my eyebrows, but did not because I'm a stupid. So if you have glue nearby, like me, but forgot it, do that. And you can do it on your hairline or whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, and you're going to do this, and we're going to make this as even as possible. You can do more uh, layers if you want, but I'm just going to do one so it's easier to get off. And this is pretty explanatory. I'm 
when you're near your lips, bring your lips in and smudge across. So you get on right next to your lips, like on the top, but not on your lips so it doesn't look weird. And you can take your glue and depending which Harley or how you want to shape your eyebrows, I'm just going to coat my eyebrows in the glue and bring it upwards and then down. It might not look completely then up and down, but that is the way I did it. And then you can do a little bit of the white. And put it over the eyebrows. So now your eyebrows look a little bit of white. You got too much just dotted around. When you do your eyebrows, it's going to be difficult with the glue to make it even, but try to do it as possible as you can. Um, and for the pieces that have near your eyes, you're going to grab a brush. It's probably not the greatest brush to use, so I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to do it right on top. Not on it, but right above it. Above my eyebrows and shape that and even it. Do the same on the other side. And even it. You can do it under if you want, but I wouldn't personally do it if you're gonna go at, um, like, all day parties or something like an event like Comic Con, you might not want to do that. You might want to use eyeshadow and then put like eye primer before. Um, so it really matters what you're doing, but since I don't have eye primer and then white eye shadow, this is the best option I have. It's not on my lips and going around my lips and. She does have white ears, so I'm just going to do that part of my ear. So it's right where the skin meets from the face to the ear and then where earrings are, there, and then I smudge it down. And then that's all I'm going to do for the white. And then I'm going to grab another brush or just clean this brush off because it's just white paint but I'm going to try to find another brush use a small brush and I'm going to grab a black or brown or something um right there she has black but her hair is blonde so I'm going to do a black the black 102M B on my cream palette from Moran. And actually, before that, I'm going to grab some translucent powder. You can either grab your translucent powder thing or grab it from your whatever. But I'm going to powder that on. And this will act as a second coat of white and it will also let the cream base colors stay on longer.
going to go back to my black and I'm going to use my mirror and just color in my eyebrows. And that's why you can use the glue because even though you're trying to hide your eyebrows, it's not gonna not it's not gonna hide it. So that's why you use the glue to shape in it. And then color it in. You can do it thin, you can do it thick. I'm just following my eyebrows like so. See, they look different, so that's the difference between your real eyebrows and when you use glue. You gotta do it perfectly. So, now she's got a light gray kind of eyeshadow on the figure, and I just noticed she has no mouth, so I have no clue she has red lips or just pink lips. The only character of my vinyls that only have a mouth is Scarecrow, for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but you could also just do white eyeshadow, um, since I don't have that, and I actually don't know where those ones are. I'm just going to do a shadowy kind of looking... I literally don't know where my huge eyeshadow palette is, so I'm just going to use the smaller ones. Open this up and get my gray and my black. You could also do red and then blue, red and then black on one side, it doesn't matter. And remember this is Harley Quinn. You can be messy. You could do crying tears or streaks of eyeshadow and mascara coming down your face because Mr. J broke your heart again. But you still go back, you still crawl back to him. Even when, I almost said Harley, even when Red tells you not to. Sweep it under your eyes if you want to. No, mine look pink, which makes it it look better. Then you could do silver if you wanted to. messier the better if you had blush but I don't because blush hates me and I can't get a new one and I keep forgetting you could use a pink eyeshadow get your pinky or finger big enough and put it on your cheek cuz you gotta look perfect for mr. J And then you could do lipstick or something. Um, my lipstick is actually in my other thing. So we're going to put this on the floor and get my lipstick. Oh, there's some light. And I have some lipstick. 
funny. Maybe when you're crying or you don't care what you look like. Cause Mr. Br Mr. Bray, Mr. J broke your heart and he had to go to Harley. He had to go to Red. Or maybe you got beat up and someone messed up your lipstick. It's your Harley. It's your story. You could do lip gloss or whatever. You could do a darker pink or a red. Got a smile from Mr. J. If you got beaten up and you were in a fight, you can add some bruise marks and claw marks and some dirt. But hey, let's get some mascara on that. If you want to be messy, you can dab some on. I'd streak it down your face. Because Mr. J broke your heart and you were crying and you went right to be man. And guess what? He brought you to the slammer. And you can have some blue. You want to look a different look. So you were wearing blue eyeliner. You're a messy Harley. I don't have a wig and I don't have a costume, but here's my somewhat messy, upset Harley Quinn after Mr. J broke her heart. This is more of a classic and Arkham Knight makeup look, but definitely not a um, Suicide Squad or the Arkham City look. So if you want to see other Harley makeups, or a better version of Harley and not a messed up one, a cute one, then leave a like down below and comment and subscribe and whatever and you will get to see some more Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, any DC makeup or just Snapchat filter SFX videos um, in the future. So I hope you guys had a reason to smile today. If not, I hope this video changed it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, pudding.